I'd like to introduce Lindy Vanestas and welcome her to AGC's talk stage. Thank you, Les. Today, I challenge you to answer a question. The good news is that the question is simple to understand and inspiring. The bad news is that the question is really hard to answer. Since the dawn of time, people have fought their own insecurities and their family's expectations to answer this question. The question is, what fuels your heart's desire? Maya Angelou said, I've learned that making a living is not the same as making a life. Neither Maya nor anyone else can answer the question for you. You'll have to discover on your own what fuels your heart's desire. And hopefully you're already there. Our objective today is to make sure the heart of your business, your cash flow, is healthy by examining ways to make money work for you and give you back the freedom to do more of what you love with those who matter the most to you, to feel your heart's desires and make a life. We'll cover positive cash flow equals a healthy business, CPR, compare price, renegotiate, heart health, create a cash flow to create a life you love. Saying, if I only had more money, is the easiest way to postpone the intense self-examination and decision-making necessary to create a life of enjoyment now and not later, said Timothy Ferris, author of The 4-Hour Workweek. Business and life are not about having vaults of money. Business can be doing what you genuinely enjoy. Dollars don't just pay bills. Put dollars to work for you all day, every day, for generations. So you and your family enjoy your most limited asset, your time. Know who's enjoying their time? A retired client, a business owner in the medical field has allowed me to share her story and the advice she gives people starting their businesses. Here's the doctor's story. Our business was successful and we were able to pay ourselves we decided to be charitable with 10%, save 25%, buy a modest home that fit our family and three-year-old cars that we drove for 10 years. By not keeping up with the Joneses, we are in financial shape. We feel good about how we've helped our community and built a legacy for our family. We didn't worry about making ends meet as recessions hit and laws affecting our industry changed. We had a lifestyle that fit just right. When it came time to sell the business, we wanted a fair price, but our retirement plan wasn't just the sale. We had savings, the sale of our business, and we still own the building, so we have rental income. She said, don't keep up with the Joneses, save, and create multiple sources of income. In 18 years in this business, I still haven't met one person who said, I wish I hadn't saved so much. Her spoonful of sugar is positive. Positive cash flow equals a healthy business. Here's what you can do to keep your business ticking along. The key element of stable cash flow is a relationship with a banker who knows your business and can help you set up a loan or a line of credit when you want one. If you have a seasonal business, plan for it. A lot of our businesses are in a strange season right now. Have as much as possible in savings and try not to owe anyone anything. Sell down inventory and lower overhead. If inventory isn't flowing, the heart of your business isn't thriving. Stagnant inventory is your cash locked up on shelves. Overhead is totally in your control too. Look at your expenses. Which ones are necessary? 
Are you considering a loan or a line of credit? Here's an American proverb. Before borrowing money from a friend, decide what you need most. Friends, money. When are loans and lines of credit appropriate? Cotton Swab Inc. just received an order and a contract from the state for medical grade cotton swabs to fill 3 million cases a month for the next year. They need sticks, cotton, aseptic packaging, and a machine to increase production. This is the time to consider a loan, particularly for a new machine. A line of credit is used to cover seasonal cash flow. Sunny Flower Garden Supply bought all of their inventory for the spl spring planting rush with a line of credit. As the pansies and planters sold, they paid it down. They then used it to buy holiday inventory, will pay it down again and repeat. Lines of credit are typically less expensive than credit cards. Now that we've covered healthy cash flow, let's talk about the expenses you need to run your business. When you discover you could have had the same high quality service for less, does your heart stop? Time for CPR. CPR stands for compare prices and renegotiate. Compare prices. Ugh, it sounds like so much work. It's so boring. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't pay off for you as much as it did for Lake's apartment living. Lakes had their insurance at FarmFam. They thought the cost was high, so they found a business insurance broker, and now they have the right coverage for a third of the cost. This is important, as we all know. Build relationships with people you trust and work with those who can do your bidding for you. Their agent can do what he loves and review their premiums yearly to be sure Lakes is still getting the best coverage for the best price. Lakes Apartment Living can do what they love, make beautiful communities for their renters. The prescription, get three quotes on both expensive and recurring purchases, price them regularly and build relationships. The R in CPR stands for negotiate, negotiate, and renegotiate. Do this for must-have overhead expenses. For example, rent. You can negotiate lease terms. Does the space have what you need or will it be expensive to make it work for you? Can your landlord help cover some of your remodeling and building improvements by giving you a couple of months of free rent? communicate. Lollipop Stop was a longtime business who always paid rent on time. During a slump in the economy, Lollipop Stop went through a rough patch and the building owner didn't want to lose them or have a vacancy and just needed to cover their expenses. With mutual respect, they renegotiated a lower rent for six months and signed an amended lease that was helpful to both the building owner and Lollipop Stop. Consider buying your own building and having people rent from you as added income. Your business also updates its website and social media and prices vary wildly here. Unless web design and tweeting is your heart's desire. <sighs> Work with someone who understands your vision, style, industry, and your ideal client. Use specialists, millennials, interns, and look for free platforms. Negotiate with manufacturers to drop ship, stock inventory, and take returns. Compare vendors for best prices, credit terms, and promos. Are you net 30? Do you have to pay your bills in 30 days? During a slow time, if you're a good client, ask to go out to 90 days till your bills due. And when rates go down, get lower interests on loans and credit cards. This would be a much better world if more married people were as deeply in love as they are in debt. 
said Earl Wilson. Credit cards are generally used by newer businesses that haven't established credit yet. Debt is the fat around your business's heart. Use cards with caution and try to use them only as a tool to build your company's credit rating. So you'll get better rates and pay less in interest on loans and credit in the future. Use only 30% of your credit or you'll have too high of a debt ratio. And if you max out cards, your credit score will go down. Your business's credit rating is the stethoscope reporting how healthy is the heart of your business. Have a goal of paying zero cents in interest all year. Understand 0% offers on purchases and balance transfers. Make sure the interest isn't due on the original amount if it's not completely paid off by the time the 0% rate is done. Know the cost to transfer balances. There's usually a cost. Can you pay your bill with rewards? Another heartwarming thought from Earl Wilson. Today, there are three kinds of people, the haves, the have-nots, and the have not paid for what they have. Let's try to be the ones to have it together and have a healthy business. Lastly, heart health. Create cash flow to create a life you'll love. Looking for a place to save all the money you're, well, saving? Much like a family, a business should also have an emergency fund of three to 12 months of expenses. That doesn't mean the cash should be sitting in actual cash. It can still work for you. Some options are high interest savings. Ask your banker, credit union, or a card you carry, what's the rate on their savings accounts? No banker yet? Check out NerdWallet. They often rate companies you've heard of and others you haven't. For savings beyond your emergency fund, remember to save for retirement too. It can be a tax savings also. By not putting all of your money into your business, it makes it easier for the next generation or a new buyer to be able to write that check for your business. In case the sale of your business is your retirement plan, try not to let it be your only plan. Please work with a financial planner. Want to raise money for that next big thing that will take your business even further? Consider crowdfunding or angel investors. Is there a thing as extra money? Invest. As a business owner, one of the greatest things you can do is invest in your business. You understand it better than any of the companies on the New York Stock Exchange. Of course, you can also invest in the traditional ways. Remember the golden rule. Whoever has the gold makes the rules. You make the rules because your cash flow has the endurance of a marathon runner. Remember the question. The good news is that answering the question will change your life. The bad news is that the question is very hard to answer and your answer may change. Today, I challenge you to answer the question, what fuels your heart's desire? Thank you.